Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall quickly revise the main concepts of heat and temperature related to TPSTR exam 2022. Here, we are not going in detail of the basics. Hope so, you all would have learnt already. So, we are focusing on the important points related to the exam point of view. So before moving to the video, if you are watching my channel for the first time, do subscribe and press the bell icon, hence you will get the notifications of the videos we upload here related to CET, that means DPSTR exams, Central TET and TET exams of mainly maths and science concepts. Each body is made up of molecules. The molecules are in random motion and um, each molecule exerts a force of attraction on each other molecule. So, in case of heat energy when we say the heat energy of the body is the internal energy of the molecule of the body. So, due to the random motion of these particles, they produce an internal energy. So, this internal energy of the molecule is known as heat. For example, on rubbing our palms, our palms get heated up, right? So, it is due to the motion of the molecules. So, when we say about total internal energy, it is equal to the sum of internal kinetic energy due to the molecular motion and internal potential energy due to the molecular attractive forces. Okay. So, in simple terms, we can simplify like this. Heat is a form of energy which flows. It is the energy of random motion of molecules constituting the body. So, on learning about heat and temperature, simultaneously we will check out the differences also. Hence, we can cover up the points quickly. And moving to temperature. Temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. So, here when we say about heat, it is about the hotness or the random motion of the molecules energy. But here, in case of temperature, both hotness and coldness of a body. And here, temperature determines the flow of direction of heat. Direction of flow of heat of two bodies when they are in contact. Okay. And here, SI unit of heat is Joule. It is represented by capital letter J. SI unit of temperature is Kelvin K. Heat depends on mass of the body, temperature of the body and material of the body on which material, whichever material we consider. And temperature depends on average kinetic energy of the molecule in random motion. On moving to the measurement of heat and temperature, heat is measured by the principle of calorimetry and Calorie meter is the device used to measure the heat of the of substance. In case of temperature, thermometer is an instrument used to measure temperature of the given object. For heat, when two bodies of same quantity of heat, they may differ in temperature. I repeat. When two bodies of same quantity of heat, they may differ in temperature. In case of temperature, two bodies of the same temperature differ in quantities of heat. Okay. When two bodies are in contact, heat of the first body plus heat of the second body is equal to sum of the heat of the two bodies. When you calculate the sum total. In case of temperature, the two bodies at a different temperatures in contact, the resultant temperature will be any temperature between two bodies. For example, you take an object of temperature 100 degrees Celsius. Another object which is having 20 degrees Celsius is the temperature. On mixing this two, the temperature of the resultant body, the resultant temperature will be lying between this 120 okay so these are the 
main points in case of heat and temperature only when they ask for the concepts of heat and temperature there are also sub topics related to this is for example of thermal expansion of substances so actually it is not mentioned in the syllabus okay about thermal expansion so if it is asked suppose you can answer this point what is thermal expansion the expansion of substances on heating when you heat a substance substance expand due to heat so that is called as thermal expansion of substances okay so after this completing of the syllabus for gpsc exam later we will make videos based on this thermal expansion in detail okay so since we are moving a little towards the exam point of view we are focusing only on the main points main concepts and here i am explaining you the concept based because um, i am not going with the multiple choice questions like question wise because once you understand the concept it will be easy for you to answer any type of question either multiple choice or descriptive type is asked also you will be able to answer so meanwhile you can have also have a practice of previous year question papers you can collect and you can have a practice so that will support you then uh, if you get time small test you can take for yourself so that you can cover up the time in the exam next we will move to different scales of temperature so there are three scales of temperatures celsius scale fahrenheit scale and kelvin scale so here there is a diagram which represent the differences suppose you consider an object at ice point for all the three scales here in celsius scale it will be 0 degree celsius will be the ice point of an object same in case of fahrenheit scale it will be 32 degree fahrenheit okay and in case of kelvin scale the starting point at the ice point is 273k on moving to the steam point in case of celsius it is 100 degree and in case of fahrenheit 212 degree fahrenheit in case of kelvin scale 370 degree kelvin and when you know the differences or if you know the um, divisions number of divisions 100 minus 0 is 100 divisions are there on the celsius scale same with kelvin scale 273 minus uh, sorry 373 minus 273 gives us 100k so 100 divisions here also 100 divisions 100 divisions in case of fahrenheit 212 minus 32 gives us 180 fahrenheit there are 180 divisions on fahrenheit scale next the formula representing the relation between the celsius and fahrenheit scale is c by 5 which is equal to f minus 32 by 9 and the formula which is relating celsius scale and kelvin scale is c is equal to k minus 273 or k is equal to 273 plus celsius and the formula which is relating all the three scales celsius scale fahrenheit scale and kelvin scale this is how c by 5 is equal to f minus 32 by 9 the first formula as it is which is relating celsius and fahrenheit and you know in place of c you can write k minus 273 and hence we get which is also equal to k minus 273 divided by 5 so this is the formula which is relating all the three scales of temperature and you know already we learned that temperature is measured by thermometer there are mainly three types of thermometer laboratory thermometer clinical thermometer and maximum minimum thermometers okay, these are the types of thermometers thermometer is an instrument used to measure the temperature of the given object you know which is the liquid used in the thermometer mercury mercury is the liquid used in the thermometer now we shall move to conversion of temperatures calculate the normal temperature of human body in fahrenheit it is 98.6 degree fahrenheit on the centigrade or celsius scale so what are the keywords here 
Fahrenheit scale temperature is given we need to convert that into Celsius scale and given is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit Celsius scale we have to find out what is the relation which is showing Celsius scale and Fahrenheit scale C by 5 is equal to F minus 32 by 9. So you want to make C subject of the formula and take this F the other side it becomes multiplication C is equal to 5 of F minus 32 divided by 9. Substitute the value of F here 98.6 minus 32 and on subtracting 98.6 minus 32 we get 66.6 on solving this 5 into 66.6 by 9 we get the answer is 37 degree Celsius. So what is the normal temperature of human body in Celsius scale it is 37 degree Celsius. What is the normal temperature of human body in Fahrenheit scale 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Usually when we go to the clinic and all they say the temperature in Fahrenheit scale ok. Maybe uh, your, you have fever of 100 degree they say no. So when they mention that it is in Fahrenheit scale they mention ok not in Celsius scale. Next express 100 K in degree Celsius. So K value is given temperature of temperature in Kelvin is equal to 100 K temperature in degree Celsius we can find out. So you can C is equal to K minus 273 is the expression you can also write like this temperature in T degree in Celsius that is which is equal to T K minus 273 substitute the value of K here K is 100 100 minus 273 is minus 173 so temperature in Celsius is minus 173 degree Celsius these are very easy sums remember this formula that is it express 127 degree Celsius in Kelvin so it is given in Celsius convert into Kelvin Kelvin is equal to 273 plus Celsius so 273 plus 127 gives us 400 Kelvin express 100 degree Fahrenheit in degree Celsius and in Kelvin here both given in one sum only the conversions only what is given 100 degree Fahrenheit Celsius first we need to convert substitute for the given formula C by 5 is equal to F minus 32 by 9 you just remember do not get confused with this denominator whether to write C by 9 or C by 5 you just remember C only one term so it is smaller value 5 you write here F minus 32 little larger no so divide by 9 you just remember in this way some tricks to remember ok actually logically we have to prove that it is C by 5 is equal to F minus 32 by 9 only just in order to remember that make C subject to the formula you get like this substitute the value of F here 100 minus 32 is 68 into 5 by 9 which gives us on solving 37.8 next we need to convert this 100 degree Fahrenheit into Kelvin scale so what is the relation between this two T in Kelvin is equal to 273 plus Celsius already we got the answer in Celsius so 273 plus add up this value you get the answer is 310.8 K suppose if the same question is directly given to convert 100 degree Fahrenheit into Kelvin without converting as Celsius scale you can use this formula F minus 32 by 9 is equal to K minus 273 by 5. So you can write K minus 273 and take this 5 the other side it becomes 5 of F minus 32 by 9 and hence K minus 273 substitute the value of F here and simplify on taking 273 the other side it becomes plus 273 here it is missing the 273 plus 273 so 37.8 and simplifying this term you get 37.8 plus 273 which gives us 310.8 Kelvin and uh, I am trying my level best to complete the important points before the exams so you also have to work hard from my side what I am doing is only 10% I think so the remaining 90 percentage you have to give your full energy and work hard so that you can excel okay so if you like the video don't forget to 
प्रेस द लाइक बटन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग